are breathing in and out without completely thinking about this. But if we inhale polluted air all the time, eventually this pollutant will have an impact on us. So there's nothing more critical for us as humans as air. I'm a physicist, but my area of uh, investigation science is interdisciplinary science of air quality and its impact on human health and the environment. When I got my position here at QUT, I established what's now called the International Laboratory for Air Quality and Health, with a specific focus on airborne particulate matter. Initially, those very small particles, but since SARS-1, also particles from human respiratory activities, which means particles potentially carrying pathogens and potentially being infectious. In my research, measurements have always been critical, but we also did some measurements in uh, many countries. So my focus now is mainly on what to do to prevent these particles from being in the air, from being emitted. And one of my greatest achievements, if I can call it this way, was that now, for the first time, the WHO air quality guidelines also include ultrafine particles in terms of best practice. And these are the concentration values which we say a group of colleagues from around the world developed, and this is now in this document. It never came across my mind, uh, I must say, uh, as a teenager student or even later, that as a woman there's something I can't do. I often give such advice to younger women scientists in that situation that sometimes there's too much and they say, I'm going to give up. I just can't handle all of this. So what I'm saying then is that if you have your vision in life, what you want to do, what is your dream, go slowly through this, focus on what you have to do now, and then time will come, but never give up, because if you give up, then you'll always regret this.